day, so um, a bit premature to what I was planning on anyway, so I'm going to have to fit my uh, new MIP CVDs just a bit earlier before I got my uh, FLM chassis fixed, as um, these really poor, crappy Traxxas drive shaft have snapped. You can see the thing looks like a banana anyway, it's absolutely bent and I keep straightening it up and bending it back. They're so weak, it's a joke. Um, probably just a bit better off with the uh, the Traxxas plastic ones. Probably just as strong as them. Absolutely useless. So um, I'm just going to fit these MIPS on now. And we'll see what they compare like. Okay. Okay, so uh, fresh out of the bag. This is what you get in uh, each pack of uh, MIPS CVD drive shafts. For the extended Traxxas Emax. Um... As you can see, I'll just hold up the Traxxas one now. There's quite a lot of difference in the size of these things, so I'm hoping that they're going to withstand the Monster Mamba 220 kV. Because um, these Traxxas ones simply are useless. Um, I probably will be replacing that and I'll stick it on my uh, Pro 1.5 T-Max. Okay, and that's just a little build project, because um, these blue... RPM True Track systems and the front RPM A arms, they're going to go onto the T Max as well. I'm going to uh, extend that out a little bit because it's still the original 1.5 short arm axles. Okay, so I'm um, just going to build these up now and then put them on. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've got this connection put in there. It's literally one grub screw, a shaft, and a piece of grease. Okay, and that moves along nicely in there. And um, what I'm going to do is I've taken the boot off the uh, Traxxas one, and I'm going to slide this on over this way, and uh, I should keep the grease in there and keep the grime out. Okay, okay, so that's it with the boot on. And you won't really see that anyway, a bit behind the wheel, but it's going to do the job of protecting that from in there. And uh, the ends of these look a lot more substantial than they do when you buy these Traxxas ones. As you can see, the end of that one has now disappeared, where it's been twisting too much. Under all that power, especially with these big wheels on, then um, that's what happens. I've also got these real heavy duty knuckle hubs there. Um, I'm not going to put these on right now. Main fact is that I've already got the Traxxas ones on now. Uh, they're probably breaking a week or two, knowing Traxxas parts. Um, but I'll keep these on for now anyway. Hopefully within a week or so, my washers will be here for the uh, FLM hubs and I can get on all the new hubs. Okay, so you can see that it's now gone in there. There's the boot. And it's fitted in there quite nicely. So um, I'll just stick on the 17mm uh, hex hubs, get the wheel on, and then do the other side. Now it's something I just noticed, I um, don't know if you, anyone else has had this problem as well, but with these uh, Traxxas performance parts, the CVD joints I've had, and uh, these Traxxas 17mm hex hub converters, I've always had a problem that where the thread is at the end, these end up loose and they wobble and I've just noticed now I've stuck this on the uh, MIP CVDs there's absolutely no play in that at all um, don't know why that is considering they're all Traxxas parts I thought Traxxas is probably the best thing to do considering it's a Traxxas car but um, don't get me wrong I'm not slating Traxxas they do make brilliant cars uh, but I do think that these uh, drive shafts are very cheap and very nasty. They look nice and pretty in the box, uh, but as far as performance goes, they're um, rubbish. Okay, so I'm just going to stick the wheels on now, and I'm going to do the other side. Okay, just to give you an idea of how buckled these ones are, these really are. If you can see how much that has bent. And I'll show you in a minute when I take it off, but just under the boot under here, I've noticed that there's a couple of real big stress cracks, so it probably wouldn't have been long before that one turned into this one snapped. 
like I say, I've had these off probably, I'd say every other time I've used the car. Um, had to put them in a vice and straighten them out again because they just bend and warp, twist, buckle. Um, I do run the car on 6S lipos, so it might have something to do with it with these big wheels. Um, and the power's got to give somewhere. So I'm hoping now I've put these uh, real big thick CVDs on there that it's not going to actually blow the drive shaft somewhere. Although, because I kept blowing the drive shafts in the rear, again, Traxxas ones weren't up to the job. Uh, hence why I bought the FLM ones now that I still haven't installed yet. Um, it kept blowing the drive shafts, so I put an Integi lock diff in there as well, just to stop it blowing the rear drive shafts. Uh, the fronts aren't too bad. Um, just what I was saying as well a minute ago, the uh, on the Traxxas parts, the amount of play in these things... I put some uh, tape around inside of the thread in there to see if it would stop it moving but I don't know if you can see that there's quite a lot of play in there and that's on the Traxxas CVDs so take them out and do away with them